My New Year's resolution in 2020, which I am in the process of um, revamping for 2021, was to normalize my relationship with food. And I talked very extensively about it this year because with the threat of, of COVID-19 and the rioting and all of that, it, it took on a new importance because my uh, eating, compulsive eating was um, creating a rift in my life and um, creating all sorts of uh, hazards that I really could avoid. I thought I'd make a video to share just what I meant by my compulsive eating because it, I, I, I often focus on what I'm doing about it instead of what has happened before. So the classic example was in the middle of a meal I get interrupted, maybe an emergency comes up, right? Maybe a meeting at work, maybe even a pleasant activity. My girlfriend decides to show up to my home unannounced and I have to put down the food. It feels like I, it, it feels awkward to put down food in the middle of a meal when I wasn't expecting it. My mouth will continue to water as I'm trying to focus on this other event. And I've had times where I've uh, caused trouble over that. I lost a job over that actually, believe it or not. That's how, that's how intense that feeling is. The other way this could happen is I'm anticipating a meal, but I can't get to it for whatever reason. Maybe there's a pandemic and the grocery store has closed down. If I live with roommates, maybe my roommate accidentally took the food or something happens between when I'm anticipating and when I go to eat. Not nearly as bad as if I got interrupted in the middle of a meal. See, the way I like to think about it is getting interrupted in the middle of the meal is like kind of having to stop urinating after you've urinated halfway, right? At least for guys. I don't know how it works for girls. Um, not being able to get to food, that, that's like not even starting to urinate, right? Yeah, it feels bad, but you can hold it for another few minutes, right? Um, the other way this comes up is that um, when I'm traveling and um, I, 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 I don't like flying as it is. I used to have a big fear of flying. I don't fear flying anymore for the physical reasons, but for social reasons, I still dislike it. I have social anxiety. And so um, eating disorder only added to the problem because I'd be in the middle of a flight, it might be a 10 hour flight, and then four hours into it, I'm craving something and I can't get out of the plane for another six hours and I'm just miserable. That one is a little bit more tolerable than the other two cases that I mentioned. Um, sometimes in the middle of a party or an event and um, I wanna go out to get my favorite foods and sometimes it's in an unfamiliar city and now I'm walking along the streets. Instead of enjoying the social event, I'm out there looking for foods. And it just goes to show how antisocial that activity is. Anyways, th those are some of the eating disorders I need to work on. Especially the, the being interrupted in the middle of a meal. That one I've caused way too many rifts over. And I still don't, I still have that problem. I still cannot easily stop in the middle of a meal if I needed to. Uh, I often wonder what would happen ever since George Floyd. I often wonder what would happen if the police raided my home in the middle of a meal. Uh, I, I don't want to think about what I would do. Let's put it that way. Thanks for watching.